hi welcome guys to my youtube channel this is chris from crisp digitals today i'll be using powerpoint to create this um, nice looking binder for your digital planner or your journal um, this is something i created yesterday or i think early this morning and i decided to share with you guys how this was made yesterday i created something like this similar to this that um you guys can download and just use it readily it is ready to use right away you guys can just upload it onto your one note planner and start using it okay or if you want to design this um, yourself and you want to learn how to design it so you can be able to do it you know whenever you want and put your own spin to it and tweaks to it um, you are welcome to join me as I go step by step to create this um, binder all right again like I said I will be using PowerPoint and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the um, bell notification so you will be notified when I upload new videos and please don't forget to um, like this video and comment down below and give it give it a thumbs up and also try and share this video to people you think will benefit from this as well all right let's get started so i'm going to go to powerpoint where we are already and um you can click on file and open blank presentation all right and now you go here and just click delete on your see that again just click delete on your keyboard to take that out do the same thing here delete on your you should take that out when you click on that all right then you cancel this out all right now you want to go to design i want to point out some um, things for you guys here go to slide size and go to custom slide size now the reason i brought you guys here is uh, because some of you have not one note um, but it's on your tablet or your ipad so if you go here you can choose whatever size or whatever paper size you want you can leave it at white screen which i'm going to leave it at white screen for myself and you can choose on screen show 16 by 10 some of you using some um, version of your ipad or android notebook might have 16 by 10 or 16 by 9 is up to you and i'm going to leave this landscape and portrait okay so if you want to choose any of these go ahead and choose that and click okay i'm going to leave mine as white screen okay all right now we're going to go back to home and first thing we're going to do we want to put a background so here i told you guys i'll be creating something like this but i'm not going to use this dark blue anymore i think i've used it enough so i'm going to change it but you are welcome to still use it if you want all right so i'm going to go i think it's the second one Right, I'm gonna go here and now I'm gonna go to go to insert all right the next thing I'm gonna do is go to shapes and under shapes I'm gonna go to the rounded rectangle okay on the corners and I'm gonna just draw draw the shape right here you know increase this a little bit and i'm going to use these dots and just limit the or reduce the the corner so the corners have been reduced i'm going to drag this right here go to shape outline click on that and go to no outline take that out next thing we want to do we want to go to shape fill and i'm going to choose a different color here background let's go with this one okay so now that we've done that I am going to see 
let's put um let's give this a little bit of more rounded corners all right that's fine all right now next we want to do we want to put like a stitch around this so we want to put like a stitch like lines dashes around this okay to create the effect of it being sewn in all right so by for us to do that we're going to control d on your keyboard hit control and d all right so that's what we that's what we have now i'm going to drag it out a little bit so i can see it all right you can see because i'm i want to take this this color out this brown color i want to take it out so for me to do that i'm going to go to shape fill and i'll put no fill so if i see if i put that now i don't even know where my um my lines are right so right there so this where they are now i want to put a i want to put dashes around them so i'm going to go here shape effect up uh, nope i'm going to go to shape outlines and i'm going to dashes and i'll go right here and i'll choose this one you can choose whichever one you want but i'm going to choose this one okay so now i'm going to fill that with with white no not with that not with that fill this shape outline i want to fill it with white okay so now i'm going to reduce this so it can come in Okay. Right there. All right. Let's make sure it's all centered in by moving it a little bit. When you see that cross right there, you know your image is centered in that background. Okay. So let it go. All right. So next thing we want to do, you see, um, you, you don't want to group them right now. You want to wait before you group them. And usually I like to group them, but there's something I want to show you guys um, towards the end before grouping them, okay? All right, so now you're going to highlight this. Okay, and now you're going to go to Control D to duplicate again so you duplicate that and now you're going to move this you're going to move this and then you move this a little bit now that little space you have that's what you want okay now let's transcenter everything i'm going to copy everything and i'm going to just drag them so i can have a center so it snapped for me okay so now that's my center when you when you feel that snap so that's the center okay all right so next thing i want to do is see let's see here all right you want to click on this left part of it not not this line but this left part of it and now you're going to try and, we're going to try and give it a like a uh, shadow effect so you can use the shadow effect by going to shape effect i to take you to the shadow effect okay but um, i like to go using right click and go to shape format or format shape and i go to this and now we go to shadow so we're on the left side so you want to go to the left and now you see that little shadow right there so we're going to increase it so i'll increase it to seven and then i'll increase the blur so increase the distance to seven and then the blur to um, nine okay now let's see if we can increase this more let's see is it too much okay let's do Let's do nine and then let's do this about 14. Okay. All right. So we'll come here and we'll do the same thing. But instead of left, we'll go to right. OK. 
okay click right and you increase this to 9 and then this 14 as well all right so our, our binder is coming together guys as you can see all right it's, it's really coming together so the next thing we want to do we want to create the white page inside or the dark page whichever one you you use I like the dark one but for the sake of this video I'm going to do a white one so now we'll go to insert and you go to shapes and now you want to go to rectangles and click on the rectangle one now we're going to go on this page okay and we're going to just drag if you want to leave a little space around here so you can put your um what you call those tabs for your month of the year or other things you want to do you can leave that here i'm not going to do that if you want to do that you can do that by all means okay but i'm not going to do that here all right you can let them snap at the bottom and at the top if you want can increase this to the width just gonna let it sit right here and bring this down a little bit I'm holding my alt key so I can just fine-tune it myself all right let me leave a little bit here well I'll tell you guys why so now let's do this one too holding the alt key that's what I'm doing okay now we're gonna go here where it says shape outline are you gonna put no outline so you take the outline out so we're gonna go to fill and make it white all right okay so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go back to insert all right insert then we go to shapes and now you're going to go all the way down to where it says um, flowchart terminator you click on that and I'm going to just draw something like this here for now and take the no put no outline in there all right next one we're going to do so leave this one where it is now and we're going to go to insert I'm going to go to shapes again and I'm going to go to oval all right click on that and you drag it right here you want to go to three up uh, want to go to 0 0.2 on both sides okay all right and remove let's remove the outline Now I'm going to take this if I can grab it I'm going to take this and put it right here I'm going to hold it alt key where I drag it right one where I really want it okay I'm going to put it right there and now I'm going to go here and just fill it up in so I'm going to use the same color so it's filled up right here okay outside click and now click back again because I forgot to do something that's so why I'm clicking back again all right click back again you control D duplicate that and gonna put it right there you might not see it but it's right there okay because you're using the same for you to see it because now you can't see it if I click out you can't see anything there but for you to see it I'll show you what to do we can just go back and leave the outline so you can just put the outline back all right so now you can you can see it right which one is better for you using the outline of that color or using a different outline you can't really see it without the outline right see it's kind of it's kind of like we lost it all right so we're going to use so we can use something yeah we use that 
probably gives us a better outline what I did here I just went and I just hit that why this was highlighted I just went and I hit this is the same thing as going back here and hitting this one okay because that was the last color that was used okay so now let's try and design this so if I put this here I want to see how long that is all right let's reduce that Let me bring this forward. Okay, if I so I brought it follow forward. This is how it looks. All right, I want it to be smaller than that. It's too it's still too big. Again, hold your Alt key so you can be able to adjust it um, very well. All right, so what we have here, we're going to go to gradient. Why this is selected, go to gradient and leave it at uh, linear. Then we're going to come to this first one. Going to give it this color. Whatever color you want to use, it's fine, guys. However you want to do your, do your um, ring, your spiral ring. Is up to you so just adjust all I'm doing is just fine-tuning and adjusting the way I would like them to look at and um, to look like let's see if I push if I move this backwards you know what let's do more colors and let's drag this one down a little bit all right so let's make it a little bit darker make it a little bit darker at the end part and this one too let's make it a little bit darker so both ends make them a tad bit darker okay and then this one we want to give it the regular one that we use for the background this this one too I want to give it a regular one that we use for our background and now this middle one we can change to either a bright or white color see like it's shiny right so if I click out see what we have here let's zoom this out a little bit there is my zoom go to that okay let's zoom by 200 okay so now let's see how we can adjust this properly looks like it's crooked again I'm holding the control on um, the alt okay to move it see how I can finally place it it's not bulging okay so here let me use this and move this up a little bit and move this one right here okay maybe we should change this to a light gray color so go to shape format the shape outline let's see if we can give it this color instead how about that is that better well, i think that one is better what do you guys think all right let's go back to the regular view Let's go fit. All right. So we'll copy that, and you control G. All right for grouping. Oh, before we do that, let's go back. Just click on this one that says undo group, on um, undo it. Okay. Now you click on that um, spiral, 
and you go to you want to put a shape on it okay so use the bottom one okay so now there is a little shape on it so let's see if we can increase that a little bit and increase that that looks better right uh, if we, let's see if we increase it a little bit more okay so that looks better now it looks like it's a uh, 3d effect on that right all right so now let's go and group it Control g for grouping okay so now that is Control g is being grouped so next thing you want to do you want to do Control d to duplicate so now we have that first duplicate you drag it and you see this um, red arrow up and down it helps you to actually gauge your 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 space between them you can go further if you want or you can just use that and the next one you click on Control D now it's going to just memorize that um, space and the more you click Control D it just helps you do that but don't worry how they look right now okay we're going to fix the alignment all right so now that we've done that you go and you copy all of them and now you go to sh um, shape format go to align and you go to right okay and now you go back again to align and you go to distribute vertically all right so it's what we have it's looking like a real um, node uh, binder right I bet you know you should be proud of yourself that what you're doing right now you know you're doing this yourself okay you can literally if you want you can start selling this or you can you know just do it for fun a lot of Etsy people probably this is what they use to do it all right so next thing you want to do you want to copy them again highlight them again sorry and now you're going to go to control G to group them all together so they are all grouped together all you do now is drag them to put them in the middle right there see how it snapped that's the middle all right so you leave that all right so this is good this is good to go now if you want to leave a little bit of shadow on this white page it's great if you want to do that so let's do that so you click on the white page and you go to go to your shadow and you're going to do it for the I see offset right okay offset right so you see that little bit of dark um, uh, outline there now you're going to increase that let's increase it to yep to six and just lighten that up a little bit blow so you click on the blow and lighten that up a little bit and why this is still selected you go to Control d and you duplicate that and now you're going to click on that and go to this um, fill and line and now we're going to go here and we're going to select a light gray and we're going to come here and just the transparency and just leave it at uh, eight okay now you want to align this properly and just give it a little bit of space so you can see what we're going to do next with it all right so what you want to do next you want to go to shape format and where it says send back click on it click on it again so twice so now you have that feeling like it has another page behind it which it does but like uh, uh, like more pages if you want to do more just like we have in this see it has like three looking ones if you want to do that we can just duplicate again by clicking 
the first white page and control D and you do the same I think we did 10 here or you could have I could have just duplicated that one that I just did right you can just do 10 here again and then you align that I want to either move it past the first one and the second one or I want to just leave it before the second one so you can have like a feel of multiple pages okay and now you go to shape format back once back twice let's see if it looks like that so it, yeah it gives you that that page kind of that multiple page kind of feeling right but I see a problem there if you look closer you see it's not aligned properly which is okay if you want to leave it that way but if you want to adjust that you can go ahead and adjust that but I'm gonna leave it that way because it just kind of gives it that feel of a real node um, binder because binders are not always you know aligned together in the real world so this kind of gives it that feel if you know what I mean okay so the next thing we want to do we want to click this first part this the the brown itself the first one I want to click on it I want to go to um, the shadow let's reduce the shadow you want to go to 3d okay and now you go to the top bevel I want to go to the last one that says round convex and you click on it once so now it's going to give you that feeling of a binder like a book see that okay so you want to do the same thing here and we'll go down here go to top bevel under 3d all right and you do the same the round convex so right there you can see it for you to really appreciate what you can see here because you might not be able to see it you can go down to hmm, to where it says slideshow click on it it's down below so slideshow I need to show you that you see how you see how it looks so you, you here you'll be able to appreciate what you just created and you see what I was telling you about how with um, a binder they don't really come together when you lay them so there's an overlap see how it looks like how it looks like a real binder and this guys you created this you created this you should be proud of yourself what you did okay so I'm going to hit escape hit escape on yours and you back to your normal screen all right so right here you are done actually you are completely done it's just that if you want to create um, other things like uh, let's see you want to add these um, icons you can do that and I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you want to add your logo you can do that but I don't have your logo I have my logo so you use your own logo okay and if you want to put the 2020 like I said um, I left the file in the description below you can you can use that if you want to put your name here you can put your name here all right so we're gonna go back so to put icons so you're gonna to go to insert and go to icons you have to you need to have internet connection for this okay if you don't have internet connection it's not gonna work for this part so you can choose whatever you want for example let me just say YouTube so right there I click on that um, I won't put insert yet until I'm done with all my searches so next one I can say family oops and you can choose any of this but I'm gonna choose this home you can go and you can type uh, money or finance I'm gonna choose this and what else can we type here um, walk can do that and last one we're gonna put calendar 
all right so let's choose any of this i'll just choose this one so now we have five icons they're going to bunch together okay we're just going to separate them all right so click out and now you pick them one by one now it's up to you where you want to put them okay you can put them anywhere i'm going to use the calendar first and use the measurement so i can use the same measurement for all of them so i'll use this small icon right here and the measurement is going to be let's see graphic format so it's um 0.57 inches so that's what i want to use for all of them you can change the colors by going to where the color is right here on the right side and i'm going to change this to blue right there you can use any color you want all right and now the next one is um work so i'm going to put it right there and just go up here and put point 70 or uh, 57 and drop that out and then you can drag this it should give you like a a space a spacer to help you put in the middle and now you can leave it that color or you can go and change it let's see if we can use that so use um, that color for work and the next one is money so we'll drop that down here and we'll go up here and we'll change the dimension and we can give it a color i'll put um green this green i can drag it down Let's see right there and you can grab something else let's see home and give it the same dimension as the others so i'm i'm using my tab to come down okay that's what i'm doing i'm using my tab to come down and you can change the color what color should we give this um, let's do maybe that okay drop this right here and the last one is YouTube so right here you go and you do the same dimension what just happened Okay, and you can change this to red. Right there. Now, if you want to center everything, let's just copy everything, highlight everything, I mean. And you just go down here and just eyeball it wherever you want it here. I'll just leave it right there okay so those are the icons you can change the colors you can do whatever you want to do with them okay guys and um the calendar let's try the calendar before the calendar let's see how we can put your name here whatever you want to do in this page is up to you you can put the calendar here or you can put it here it's up to you all right so let's click on insert click this first then you click on insert and um, you go to text box and then right here you can just put a text box and you can type in your name and you can say Chrissy Chris digital planner you can leave it like that or you can design it further you can change the font I'll use monster oops I should highlight it before I change that right that would make sense so monster okay so you can change it and design it the way you want i'm just doing this right now for the sake of this video i don't want this video to go super long all right um the next thing we want to do is the is the calendar 
see if I already have that somewhere all right so let's go to so it's calendar I already gave you guys that so I'm just gonna drag that in there so it, it looks it looks super humongous here but I'm gonna size it down all right all right so let's see what what it looks like here size that a little bit more hold the alt key all right so that looks good right there all right here you can again you can do whatever you want to do here you can put the calendar here for example let's duplicate that and drag it right here well you can't see anything if you did that right let's see if we can put a paint in there like a fill let's see if we can change it I don't think so because this is not a natural product or insert from PowerPoint it's a sterner so I don't know if I can really change it let's see if I can change it yeah it says picture format maybe I can change it um, color oh let's see nope it's nope not letting me let's see again if I can I change picture nope nope maybe I uh, maybe I can't do this with the with this color oh, I'm gonna delete that so right now this is it this is it right now all right guys I am done with this we're done with this um, tutorial if you have any question you can leave it down below in the comment please like this video and share it to people who will really benefit from this and again if you've not subscribed consider subscribing I'll be posting more videos concerning this and you can save this work now by going to file and go to export create PDF because you want to use this in your OneNote right so create PDF you click on that and you can just go to whatever wherever I want to save it I'll just put it at my PowerPoint binder and I'll just say brown binder and I just click it publish and that's it you've saved it and let me see if I can try this other method of saving it you don't have to do this ah, no, I don't have time for that right now okay so let's go back and let's see what we did by going to the slideshow just click on it and you can see how it looks like that's how it looks like guys so this is your new binder I hope you liked what you've created I hope you learned something from this and like I said you can take this further and you can learn more by tweaking it and doing more than what um, I did if you're an expert in PowerPoint I bet you can do crazier stuff than I, I just did I just learned this recently so I'm showing you guys how to do it so I hope you guys enjoy this and have a nice day and God bless you guys bye bye